Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. In the span of 50 years of its operational history, the Lockheed Martin C-5 Galaxy has proven capable of carrying an impressive amount of loads for the United States military. At nearly 250 feet long and with a wingspan of 222 feet, this massive plane can lift up to 280,000 pounds and carry more than 2,500 miles. The development of the C-5 began in the 1960s in response to the United States Air Force's need for a high-capacity intercontinental airlifter. Due to the colossal size and weight of the aircraft, the Lockheed Martin designers had to solve a lot of problems, including many related to stability, performance, and safety. Fortunately, in the end, the U.S. military got what it wanted, one of the biggest and most advanced cargo planes in any military worldwide. The C-5's cargo area is one of the largest of any aircraft, measuring 121 feet long, 13 and a half feet high, and 19 feet wide. It has a total volume of 31,000 cubic feet, which can be increased to 44,000 cubic feet using the cargo elevator and floor system. With its maximum payload of around 135 tons, the C-5 can carry a wide range of vehicles, including tanks, helicopters, and other heavy equipment. However, in order to maximize loading and unloading efficiency, the C-5's designers also installed a nose assembly, which can raise and lower as needed. This gives ground crews access to both the front and rear of the cargo bay at the same time. At the time the C-5 was being developed, many engineers doubted whether the plane could take off. However, the Lockheed designers included a number of unique features to help maximize the plane's capabilities. For example, the C-5's wings are designed to provide maximum lift with high aspect ratio leading edge slats, and trailing edge flaps that can be extended to increase the wing surface area and generate more lift. The Ford General Electric F138 100 turbofans can put out more than 51,000 pounds of thrust each and are more than 15 feet long. Another critical C-5 design feature is the high-mounted swept-back tail. This design allows for better pitch control during takeoff and landing. The tail, acting as a stabilizer, can prevent the aircraft from pitching up too much or too little. Of all the C-5's unique features, 
none is more important than the landing gear. Given the weight and size of the plane, the engineers constructed a landing gear setup that consists of a total of 28 wheels, which are arranged in such a way as to distribute the aircraft's weight evenly on the ground. The main landing gear of the C-5 consists of four sets of two tandem wheels each. These are located in two large pods on either side of the fuselage. Because they are placed as far out to each side as possible, they must deploy sideways and then rotate 90 degrees to face forward. Meanwhile, the front landing gear is a two-wheeled nose gear that retracts into the fuselage. The best European counterpart for the C-5 is the Airbus A400M Atlas. This four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft is 148 feet long and has a wingspan of roughly 139 feet. Despite being much smaller than the C-5, it is still capable of carrying payloads of up to 81,000 pounds over a range of 2,500 miles. As developed in the early 2000s and introduced in 2013, the Atlas boasts state-of-the-art avionics, including a glass cockpit and fly-by-wire flight controls, and can be configured for a wide range of missions. Like the C-5 and many other modern heavy lifting aircraft, the A-400's primary feature is its cargo bay. The cargo bay measures 58 feet in length, 13 feet wide, and roughly 12 feet high, which makes it one of the largest in its class. The cargo bay floor features a series of rollers for the easy on and offloading of pallets, but it also has dozens of tie-down points where ground and air crews can secure the various loads. The A400M Atlas is designed to operate in various environments, from rough, unprepared airstrips to established airports which further increases the plane's already impressive versatility. Like many other large planes, ground crews perform extensive checks of all systems before every takeoff. This includes inspecting the engines, fuselage, and landing gear for any damage or issues that might cause a malfunction. Of all the A400's impressive capabilities, one of the most vital to the plane's mission is its ability to execute steep takeoffs and landings. Indeed, the Atlas's powerful turboprop engines and fly-by-wire flight control system allow it to take off and land on short runways and in rough terrain. This is aided by its high lift wing design, which enables it to take off at a very steep angle, clearing obstacles and getting the plane into the sky faster in potentially hostile environments.
Nearly as soon as the aircraft is airborne, it can travel at a near vertical angle directly into the clouds. Every nation has its own unique needs based on geography and many other factors. In the case of Japan, the island country has long needed long-range planes capable of patrolling its massive maritime border. In 2013, the government introduced the Kawasaki P-1 to the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. The aircraft is designed for anti-submarine warfare and maritime surveillance mission and is considered one of the most advanced patrol aircraft in the world. Chief among these is the plane's advanced sensor suite, which includes an active electronically scanned array radar, a magnetic anomaly detector, and a multispectral electro-optical sensor. These sensors allow the P-1 to detect and track submarines and other surface vessels at long ranges and to provide real-time situational awareness to commanders on the ground. The P-1 also has a range of more than 5,000 miles, allowing it to stay aloft for long missions and operate in various weather conditions. Unlike many other planes, there is no civilian counterpart to the P-1. It was 100% built by Kawasaki as a highly advanced submarine hunter. The aircraft is relatively large, with a fuselage length of 116 feet and a wingspan of 116 feet. Nonetheless, it is incredibly maneuverable thanks to its four IHI Corp 77 turbofan engines. In order to perform its daily missions, the P-1 stocks a magazine of Sano Boys, which can be dropped directly from the underside of the aircraft. Once in the water, they use powerful sonar to scan it for potential threats, including ships and submersibles. Its crew of eight has access to some of the most advanced scanning and detection technology on the planet. It is often referred to as a flying radar station, but that doesn't mean its combat capabilities are in any way limited. The P-1 carries a variety of missiles, including AGM-65 Maverick and AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles. It also has an array of torpedoes, mines, and depth charges to combat potential undersea incursions. Though the P-1 is actually the first jet plane to be deployed for Japanese maritime defense, several other coastal nations are already considering making it part of their defense fleet. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.